And thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. You know, with supply issues and prices rising, it can be hard to create good meals on a budget. But today, we've got Nikki, local chef and contestant on the PBS show, The Great American Recipe, to show us her three best meal prep hacks to save money time and well let's face it our insanity so we have the fantastic nikki Hi. so good to see you oh my gosh so excited all right so you are super excited because you yes. got some great tips for all of us i know we're all feeling the crunch and yes. there's a process with this and i know you were just kind of chatting with me behind the scenes about it's not just about the meal it's actually about the stages it takes to get to the meal that we all need to focus on so kind of re rewiring the way we think about meal time. Yes, yes, All right. that's exactly right. So my three biggest tips, um, you know, I'm easy peasy kitchen and I, literally keep it easy peasy, keep okay. it simple. So like the that. biggest thing is, you know, there's so many businesses, companies out there that say you need to have this for that, this for that, use this yes. for that. You don't, keep it simple. So this is essentially what I use in my kitchen. And my biggest number one tip for anybody is to make sure that you have a sharp knife. Okay. Sharp knives are the biggest efficiency tool in your kitchen, and you don't need a big butcher block. Just pick one or two, something that feels good in your hands. And if you're gonna have um, your kids help you out, um, I have this trusted uh, glove that I put the kids, I let the kids oh. wear, and it's a Kevlar uh, five protection. That's smart. And it won't cut through. You can watch the little fingers. Yep. And also for the slightly not skilled yes, cutters. Exactly. In the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Terrible at Julian. Seriously, yes. I, I can't. So I'm, this, I'm just really bad. You know, I, I let the kids join me with that. Okay. I, I wear that as well. Brilliant. But again, keep it simple okay. in the kitchen. You don't need all the gadgets. Super simple. Um, and then, you know, prep the veggies first. So when you do it with your sharp knife, it goes so fast. Put them in a bag. Okay. And then, um, you know, just, just see the, um, yeah, just prep pre, veggies pre -prep first. Prep Yes. Minimum tools, minimum keep it tools. simple and easy. Yes. Let's get to this meal idea though, and okay. I'm gonna do -si do okay. you here, my okay. friend. All right. Um, and so basically what I say is share proteins, share veggies. Okay. So across a meal throughout the week, and this saves so much time and money. Yes. So I took seven pounds of pork, I put it in my pressure cooker, and I let this cook for about three hours. You okay. can use a crock pot. I love my pressure cooker. And then with this, you can share proteins across meals that saves so much time and Love money. It. So we have a sesame honey, um, Asian bowl, we have marinara with pulled pork over polenta. If your kids um, aren't into trying polenta right now, you could always use a good gluten-free um, or regular pasta. Mm -hmm. And then who doesn't love pulled pork sandwiches? Especially during the summer. Especially during the summer. Yeah, great time And for that. Um, some good uh, Fresh veggies, veggies, fruit. fruit. And love then it. to keep it even simpler and more economic, get a good container and take this as a leftover the next day. Right, it's lunch. It's lunch, it's yes. so easy peasy. Or you keep this, you know, as a to-go. So you actually, make this in this container so you mm -hmm. can go to your fridge, pull yep. it out. Time is limited these days. And I have to say, Nikki, too, I want to weigh in really quick. Yes. When you think ahead like this, you do the bulk protein, you prep that, and then you stretch it throughout the week. Yes. You're also helping with the kids that are at home while mom and dad are working yes. for meal time. That's yes. a big challenge for myself. Yes. I, I work a lot. Yes, you and do. I have a teenager who takes care of my little one at home, and to make sure that they're eating healthy meals in absence of parental guidance, exactly. doing something like this is so smart and so easy because right. all you have to do is go into the kitchen into the fridge exactly. and they pull out an already pre-made meal that mom and dad can feel confident they're eating well and it's not just all this pre-processed stuff that they pull from the pantry oh my gosh right i'm I sorry know. granola bars and fruit <laughs> chews are not a good lunch they are not the staple no they this are not the it. staple all right yes. but you also have here in the kitchen i do paper and pen yes. what are we doing with this okay so my best saving tip for you too for the grocery store is keeping a grocery list and and i i share this with everyone it's on my website and this is keeping it so simple again so making sure that when you do a shopping list you keep it to um, the map of the grocery store. Okay. So that you're following the perimeter, you're not getting tied in, sucked into those end caps in those because middle what's aisles. what's in those end the caps, crap. Nikki? The crap. <laughs> and we like to play hot potato with our yes. family, so it's how fast you can get down and I get like that. that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, is um, sticking to this. So whatever okay. you used last week. So if, if these ingredients don't fall into 
um, you know, last week's meals, this week, only plan for this week. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So many people are replenishing what they had last week yeah. and you're driving up your grocery bill. Only stick to what you need this week mm. and stick to it. Stick to this list. You know, stick this to is the, the second perimeter. time I have heard that. Yes. Um, because we also have an organizational um, expert that comes on and she gives a very similar tip when it comes to making sure that you're not overspending. Yes. And that's finish what you got. Yes. And then stick to what you need for the week of. Exactly. Same thing applies in the kitchen, right. especially when you're prepping your meals. And you can even put eggs with this, make a morning hash. I mean, yeah. there's so much you can do, but just stick to your list. Stick, stick to what you to have. Burn the boat. I like it. Yes. I like it. Okay. And then these, as mentioned, are three fantastic recipes. Yeah. Nikki, I, I hope we could talk more about the recipes too here soon as well, in addition yes. to your fantastic ideas, because <laughs> we got School starting. Yes. Ah, uh, that's seriously I'm how I feel excited. about it. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, I'm excited because so the kids excited. finally have something to do, right? right? But at the same time, you get into that rat race yes. of work and school, and then swimming, and then all these after-school activities. That. And it's like, how do you find time to eat like this? To Easy. eat well? Yeah. I know you got the answer. We do. Yes, we do. Nikki. Thank you so thank much. You. This is such great advice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her a little her little list here because it's way more organized than the chicken scratch I have at home. All right, everyone. And I, we do have to remind everybody that you can actually catch Nikki here, fantastic yes. Nikki, on the Great American Recipe Fridays at 9 p.m. on PBS. We're so proud of her. Thank you. Obvious to see why she's fantastic. <laughs>